buy an $8 armband. It's good for tonight until 10 o'clock and you may ride unlimited rides. At this time, we would like to thank the following businesses for their contributions towards this contest. They are Oakwood Nursery and Garden Center, Hobby Floral Shop, and Flowers to at Easter's for their donations of the beautiful flowers for this event. First National Bank for the use of their meeting room for our interviews, and also a thank you to Pepsi and the Jefferson County Fair Board for their sponsorship. We would also like to thank our FFA escorts, Ryan Porter, Adam Ledger from the Fairfield Chapter, and Dan Moy and Eric Eastman from the Pekin Chapter. A thank you also to Christy Davis, the 1996 first runner-up, and Tiffany Smith for distributing programs and helping the judges tally the scores. At this time, I would like to thank our judges who have so graciously taken time out of their busy schedules to judge our contest. If the judges would please stand when I call your name. They are Mike Kraft from Ottawa. Gary Smith, also from Ottawa. And Libby Miller of Washington. I would like to now turn it over to fellow, fellow committee member, Deb Thank you. As most of you know, the girls have been judging all day today, so I will be giving them their final questions so the judges may make their decision. First we have Holly McClellan. Holly is the daughter of Bobby McClellan and Sam McClellan of Fairfield. Her sponsor is Best Care Incorporated at Fairfield. Holly, your question is, if you had to spend a month on a desert island and could only take three things, what would you take and why? First of all, I would take my diabetic supplies. I have had diabetes since I was nine years old, and it's a very important part of my life, as I cannot survive without my supplies. Um, second of all, I would take a picture of my family. Um, my family are the most important people in my life, and um, I could look. I know that they will always be there for me in my time of need, and I would look at their picture and be remembered how much they love and care for me. Lastly, I would take my Bible. I would. I could always turn to my Bible in my time of need and the answers. Kiken. Kelly is a daughter of Tim and Jamie Kiken of Fairfield. Her sponsor is First National Bank. <laughs> Kelly, your question is, describe your personality as either a color or an animal and explain. If I had to choose a color or an animal to describe my personality, Melody, I'd probably have to choose a cat because I love a cat's independence and the ability of a cat to kind of forgive a mean word if you shoo him away too fast. And I like the idea of knowing people can tell me things and I can't or won't tell anybody. And I like to climb trees. <laughs> Thanks. Up next, we have Cynthia Heald. Cynthia is the daughter of Courtney and Richard Heald of Packer. Her sponsor is Van Buskirk Construction of Packer. Cynthia, your question is, which world issue are you most concerned with and why? The world issue that I'm most concerned with, I believe, is the welfare of the children. In other countries, we have children that die of starvation every day, and we have children that are crammed in orphanages and aren't loved and cared for. We have kids that live in fear of raids and bombs and how the law is going to change from day to day in their country. And we look at this and we think how horrible it is. But in America, we have kids who kill kids just for the fun, just to do it, or for the name brand shoes or clothes. We have teenagers that abuse drugs and alcohol, and our family structure isn't what it used to be. 
We have parents that abuse their children and neglect them, and they aren't taken out of the house soon enough, and so they don't know what real love is. And until we take the initiative, or the bulls by the horns, my mom calls it, to try to change the lives of the children in America, we cannot put an impact on the lives of the children around us in the other countries. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Crystal Horn is up next. Her parents are Kathy and Jerry Horn of Lockridge. Her sponsors is BJ's Four Corners of Lockridge. Crystal, your question is, what is your most memorable experience from childhood and why? Well, I've had lots of ex memorable experiences when I was little, but my most memorable experience would be when I got elected to represent Jefferson County on a trip to the Mall of America in Minnesota. We had lots of fun riding the elevator. In the middle of the night, we were awakened by a fire, so we had to run out in our night clothes. And then on the way home, our bus brakes went out on our bus, making us two hours late home. But I had lots of fun, we met lots of people, and that would be my most memorable experience in my life. Thanks. Thank you, Krista. Next is Dawn Simmons. Dawn is the daughter of Virgil and Jane Simmons of Fairfield. Dawn's sponsor is Hy-Vee Food Store. Who do you most admire and why? I would probably have to say that I don't admire one main person in my life, but um, there are many people that I do admire. For instance, I admire all the people put, who put in hard work and dedication to help the homeless and the needy. I admire all my teachers for putting all their dedicated time and work and effort into helping me and the students learn. I admire my parents because they do a very good job at being parents and even though I don't give them a lot of credit, they are great parents. And I admire God for making such a beautiful world and all the creatures on it and for letting me be here to share this experience today. Thanks. Thank you, Don. Next we have Allison Dickey. Allison is the daughter of Dave and Judy Dickey of Packwood. Her sponsor is Packwood Lumber Company. <laughs> Allison, your question is, if you were running for governor of Iowa, what is the most important issue you would address in your campaign? Well, if I were to run for governor of Iowa, I think, first of all, it would be important to address more than just one issue because I think there are a lot of issues that are worthwhile to focus on, um, including issues on the environment, um, our education system, crime, things like that that are talked about in most political campaigns. But I also think it would be important um, to talk about an issue that's close to my heart, and that's the homeless problem in Iowa, and that's not talked about a lot in political campaigns. And like most people, I didn't realize until recently how big of a problem it is for our state. But I've learned that there's between seven and 8,000 homeless people in our state. And um, I've actually had a chance to meet um, a lot of adults and a lot of homeless children, unfortunately. People that are living in the streets and shelters and living out of their cars. And they're a lot closer to our home than what we realize. And through that experience, my eyes have really been open to the problem. So I would definitely want to talk about that. I think the more that people hear about a problem and about a situation, the more likely that something can and will be done about it. So I would definitely bring that out along with the other issues in my campaign. Thank you, Allison. Carrie Conger is up next. Carrie is the daughter of Russ and Kathy Conger of Birmingham. Her sponsor is Edgar po Pro of Batavia. Here, your question is, if you were suddenly granted three wishes, what would you wish for and why? I think my first wish would be that more kids would grow up in more stable and supportive families because I think this would have a dramatic impact, impact on lowering the crime rate in our country. 
I think my second wish would be that more kids were involved in activities such as 4-H and FFA because I think kids that are in 4-H and FFA, they learn responsibility, better communication skills, and also they learn the feeling of accomplishment. My third wish would be that there were more job opportunities in Iowa so that young people in Iowa wouldn't have to necessarily leave Iowa so they could find jobs with more meaningful feeling for them. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Next we have Brandy Crew. Brandy is the daughter of Mike and Marla Crew of Fairfield. Her sponsor is Manning Paint and Wall Covering of Liberty Bell. Brandy, your question is, what are the important and special aspects of the Jefferson County Fair? I think that there are several important and special aspects of the Jefferson County Fair. I feel that the fair gives 4-H members a chance to set goals for themselves. They accomplish these goals by getting their projects and livestock ready for fair on time. It also takes a lot of time and dedication from members, volunteers, and workers to put the fair together and make it such a success. The most important is the fact that it brings the whole community together for a week. Whether it's those who are involved from 4-H members and fair board members or those who are just here to have a good time and look around, everyone can enjoy the fair. Thank you. Thank you, Brandy. Up next, we have Beth Adam. Beth is the daughter of Charlie and Cindy Adam of Fairfield. Her sponsors are Adam Brothers of Fairfield and Everybody is of Fairfield. Beth, your question is, if you could interview any one person in the world, who would it be and why? If I had the opportunity to interview anyone, I'd choose Adolf Hitler, the man who killed millions of Jews. Why did he kill so many innocent people? That's a question not many people know the answer to. If I had the chance to talk to him, I'd ask him why he made the decision he did. And then maybe if we knew and learned and understood why he made that decision, we could help prevent a similar situation from happening in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Beth. Kathy Sampson is up next. She is the daughter of Bob and Christi Christine Carter of Ollie. Her sponsors are Hy-Vee Food Store and Janet Atwood of Fairfield. Your question is, what qualities are most important to have in order to be a good leader? I think the most important qualities to have to be a good leader is a good listening skill. If you don't listen to the people that you're supposed to be leading, then you may not have anybody to lead at all. Another important quality would be to be a good follower. If you don't think that you feel if you don't feel that you are qualified enough to be that leading that group of people, you should step down and give somebody else your responsibilities. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Before we give our judges a few minutes to make their final decisions, I'd like to introduce Kelly Howard, our 1996 Jefferson County Fair Queen, who will share her past experiences. Kelly. Well, first of all, I'd like just to welcome you all to the fair, and I hope you have a great week this week to enjoy the rides and the animals and everything. Um, this past year has been a big one for me. Um, I never really expected to win last year or do any of this stuff, so it was a big deal. Um, here, I had a lot of fun meeting all the kids and finding out all their projects. Um, I, I found out so much about how hard it is to show a cow or pork or stuff. It is really hard. They do a lot of work for this. Um, at the Iowa State Fair, it was a big experience. We had four girls in a room with only one bathroom, and that made mornings really tough. <laughs> we were put, there's 83 girls there, and when we first checked in, we were all in the lobby of the hotel. We all had about four pieces of luggage, which meant everyone was just right up against each other. And it took about an hour. <laughs> um, we were put into color groups so that about 10 of us would go at a time. We would have special interviews with all the group where we would all like have 
they would throw out a question and we would have to discuss it between ourselves and the judges would sit and make some comments and stuff. We also had one-on-one -on -one interviews with the five judges and ourselves where they would just ask us about our involvement with the community and what we like to do and stuff. Um, we were also inter introduced at the fair several times. Um, there was big crowds and we were always all excited about it. Um, this year I would like to start a tradition. Um, I bought a guardian angel, which I'd like to give to the queen this year so that it would watch over her this year and at the state fair. And then after she is done with her reign, I'd like her to pass that down to the next queen. Um, all these girls up here deserve to be queen. I wish we could give out so many more awards than we can. These girls all deserve it. Thanks. name our queen and first and second runner-up, we have a couple awards to give. We had a tie for Miss Congeniality, so we are going to split it up. And our first winner for Miss Congeniality was Kelly Kuyken. And our second one for Miss Congeniality is Cynthia Heald. giving out a leadership award this year and that award goes to Don Simmons. Also this year we're giving an alternate award. Um, if any of the candidates, the second, first, or queen cannot fulfill their duties, the alternate will fill in for her and the alternate is Brandy Crew. And now announce our second runner-up. Our second runner-up is Holly McClellan. Our first runner-up is Allison Dickey. And our 1997 Jefferson County Fair Queen is Carrie Conger.
<laughs> uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Tom Frost from Batavia. He works for AgriPro. He's not here right now, but I want everybody to know who my sponsor was. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, thank you, Mom and Dad, for giving me the courage to do this. And thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. We want to thank our judges who had a really, really tough decision to make tonight. All you girls did a fantastic job. Thanks. See you next year.